up and today you're welcome to Seppa's Kylie Kitchen. <laughs> I remember checking the I always have my funny husband. He's even. This is Dad's ever the most Anton Yekibog man, the most romantic of them that can just. Okay, now please, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, press that notification bell, like and share our videos, give us thumbs up. Today, Mr. Professor Seto, we call the <laughs> This is the most astonishing, young, vibrant, gigantic food for me. Um, <laughs> for, 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 for. What was the rest with this Samsung Jajanti What is All this? All the Jajanti guys, they give me from different side countries that have been cooking and people have been getting hey. married. A lot of, a lot of persons now instead of going to some spiritual leader to pray for them, they have been coming to me. <laughs> they have been coming to me and they have been getting their husband. Your own will not be sure of life. Amen. So today, I'm going to prepare Yo, something like this. You have The meaning of shorolize is that to be sure of shit. You want to hurt in the dictionary. But you want to kill me with it. Let me kill you with your man. <laughs> okay, what's up? Don't go over. Don't go over. And today, I'm going to be preparing something that is outstandingly unique. It is a native foreign delicacy. We call it. Badabia noodles. This is from my side. I'm from Badabia. This is what we call Badabia noodles. Yes. Please, please, you have this floor. To prepare Badabia noodles is very, very easy. The first thing you ensure is that all the whatever condiment that they usually put in the noodles, I don't like the taste because it gives me what I call mouth palpitation. You know what that means? Me, 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 I don't know. Me, that tell you, I don't know. Me. So, what I do is that I boil my meat. My meat. Okay, let me run through what I want to do in preparing the milk for you. This is what we call in Nigeria, Pororo. Pororo means Rano. You need to be learning Nigerian language, African language. This is what we call Arab. Not tell me that I don't know your language. This is what we call Atarodo. Tarodo. Another name for this is Scottish Bonnet Pepper. This is what we call tomato. We call it tomato in Africa. This is what we call green pepper. This is what we call green onion. This is what we call onion. This is what we call Aaron. Aaron means meat, cow meat. You have the flow. And this is what we call noodles. Okay. Okay. Um, what I do is that I already have the meat water here. I don't usually use uh, the nonsense paparazzi that they use uh, that comes with the noodles. So I have my meat water. I've already used it in boiling this meat. So I'll just pour back the meat inside. And when I pour back the meat inside, and it will just be as if they are fighting uh, some Brazilian world there. Eh? The next thing I'm going to do is just add a little water because I'm going to be dropping in my noodles next. Please take note that I've already boiled this meat with some considerable essence. Some considerable essence. This English is very, very hard for me. If you want to help me in speaking English on this channel, please, I would like you to come over and help down Petro so that I don't bite myself. So immediately we have the noodles already inside because this is the kind of recipe that is concussiously cooked. The next thing you do is to start with your concussion. You pour in the green whatever, whatever they call the name. That's green pepper. You pour in the you pour in the whatever. You have never the name to you now. If you don't now know the name, you pour in this one that looks like white. If you tell me that you don't know what onion is, that's that's a crime. That's a war crime. That's a little war crime. The next thing you do is to put in your carrots. You pour in your carrots like so. So you have the carrot inside. The next thing is the tomatoes. You pour in your tomatoes. Please take note so that your your I wanted to say your customer. So that you, your people that are eating the food, they will not puke. Just ensure that you put some scotch bonnet pepper to add some sharp taste to it. And uh, finally, we are going to work with a little bit of cholesterol because oil comes with some spicy cholesterol levels. So I'm just going to put in a small quantity of oil. And at this point in time, all you just need to do, this is a, this is a kind of, uh, uh, what do they call it? This is a kind of meal that 
this is the kind of cuisine, this is the kind of meal that you prepare in a few minutes. The next thing for you to do once you just continue to pouring water. Imagine. That's the part about this water thing. So what you just do next is you just cover it up and you just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! <laughs> So this is exactly what you have and this is what I call perfect finishing of the food. Even before the food is completed, I know that you will be salivating. You will be salivating. Always ensure that your your what do you call your noodles is not waterlogged. So it's advisable that you don't overshoot your water level. So within the next Three minutes. You cover it for the next three minutes, so that you can have the best finishing of your food. Now, what you do you and you not of that is that you are not going to do it. So, right, give us thumbs up, like our video, share our video, and tell me the next delicacy you want me to prepare. But now, I'm giving the rest of African delicacy alone. I will bring the particular issue. Thank you very much. 